Today, we will be building three floaty tiny houses with three different budgets. Whoever builds the best tiny house that impresses the judges and withstands all the strength tests win. To determine our budget, we're gonna see who can hold their breath for the longest. Three, two, one, go! Now, oh. when we start, we start. Three, two, one, go. <gasps> no, I lost, I get the lowest budget. <laughs> All right, Jeff, you win. All right, well, let's see how long you can go. Well, he's dancing. Jeff is dancing. <laughs> Woo! Jeff wins. I win the highest budget. Woohoo! Let's go, Star, and get our floaty built. See these pool noodles? Yes. I want all of them. You're taking all of them? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, This could break my budget. Guys, this is my pool pet. His name is Froggy. He's totally gonna be joining me on my house. Honestly, on a $50 budget, I'm kind of struggling. I could just do this and just have my head stick out and then I'm covered here. This is my little house. I could go to the bathroom if I need to in the water. So it has a toilet, it could work. I'm gonna keep thinking on it. I got a good base. I'm thinking I need to go to Home Depot now. We're in Target looking for some decorations. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Check out all this stuff, guys. Check it out. Yay! So much stuff. We are now at the pool. We rented one in Beverly Hills. It's very cold out. Ow. We gotta, you know, check it out. Ah. Swim in the pool. Ow. Build Dude. our forts. It's also the worst day possible to do this because it's freezing. Check out that palm tree. Windy. So, we're oh, gonna start building. Really dude, okay, you're done. I have pool noodles too, just so you know. We're gonna have a little challenge, and the challenge is whoever finishes their build last has to wear embarrassing water wingies and goggles for the rest of the day. What do you think about that? I hope I don't have to. Better get started! Woo! We going? Hey. We going? All right. So the good news is since my build was very low budget, it's probably gonna be really quick to build it, but um, check out this. Nice. So I got this little turtle, hopefully he's big enough, and hopefully he has body heat that warms me up because um, I'm gonna be for sure getting wet today. Hey, remember when you were a turtle? I was a turtle. So I got a turtle and I got a roof. So I'm making a roof out of these pine needles. I mean pool needle, noodles, noodles, ne pool noodles. I really hope that this roof is gonna be big enough for me. So one thing I didn't realize, but I just, now realize it's going to be an advantage these things have little cup holders and my pool noodles will actually fit in there so then i can just make Dude, walls so easy that's so lucky so as you can see a beautiful rainbow roof uh-huh nice beautiful uh-huh now we're going to uh bend it like so uh -huh. and, uh, this is going to be how my roof works just like this so i'm gonna just attach it to this handle here uh, like this with a zip tie and uh there we go, my very own houseboat completed for under $50. What are you gonna name it, Chris? So I'm gonna call this thing the Shell Shack. Ooh. If I just scoot forwards like this, we could take a comfy little nap here. You, uh, your feet are kinda hanging off there. That's okay. This is like my own little taste of paradise. Everyone say R.I.P. Mustache in the comments. Yeah, it's gone. No, the mustache. The mustache. Ryan, your interior is beautiful. You like it? Yeah, that's epic, Whoa. dude. Sorry. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. He's even got a little fruit basket. I got a fruit basket. But will it float? It's kind of heavy. That's a good question. Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, I'm just gonna say my theory here because boats like this could end up being top heavy, but he does not have a roof. So I think that it's very possible that he won't tip over. Well, Ryan, I will say this thing is beautiful. You got lots of space in there. What do you call your boat, Ryan? I'm gonna call it the Shaka Shack. Nice. All right, Jeff, you finished last. You actually still haven't finished yet, so here's your uh, failure reward. I have to put this crap on. Is this even gonna go on my arm all the way? <laughs> That's looking uncomfortable. Yeah, it looks really uncomfortable. My vision is impaired. I'm gonna name mine the Noodle Hut. Noodle Hut, Noodle Hut, Noodle Hut. So the first challenge is the float test. So we're gonna test each of the boats to see if they float. And if they don't, you're disqualified. If they don't, then you won't win. My boat will float. So I'm gonna point out that my tiny house is the most uh, mobile. Look, I can lift it like this. 
<laughs> Chris, you really put the word tiny in tiny house. So I was going for simplistic, you know? Woo! It floats! In order for the cows a house, you need to get under your roof. Perfect! All right, yeah, I'll count that. All right, they count it as a tiny house. Ooh, here we go! One, two, three! Dang! Whoa, get in here! Get in! Whoa! Oh, oh dude! Dude, that is legit! It it works. Works. Ryan, that's legit! Okay, so Ryan, definitely a tiny house, definitely floats. Dude, so, that, that is so cool. So Ryan worked. I'm gonna launch mine for its maiden voyage. <laughs> Guys, one issue that mine's been having is every once in a while, it'll start to just like start melting and like. So I, fortunately, when I'm inside, I can kind of keep it up, but. Let's put mine in the in the water. Oh, it's fine. It's All right, fine. Jeff, get in. Oh, oh, you're oh. You're in. Oh. Well, it looks like Jeffrey's houseboat also floats. So nice job, Jeff. Come on in. Check it out. We got ourselves a fruit basket with sour green apples, Granny Smith, in other words. We got some hanging plants. You know, keep some fresh air in here. Right, Rob? Yeah, dude. We got more fake plants. Howdy, neighbor. Howdy, neighbor. We I got hate Jeff you, over there. And then, I don't like that guy. He's not the best neighbor. Hey. I'm just hanging out. I'm chilling. Check out mine. I've got a stay a while sign just so anyone that enters my abode feels welcome and warm. I've got a rug. I've got this noodle to fight off enemies. Boat. Guys, my boat is so crooked. It doesn't want to stay! Look at this thing, this thing is janky! And now, it is the tour that you've all been waiting for. The best boat tiny house. Da, 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 da. This is it. Next up, to earn another point for your houseboat, we're gonna do the blindfolded battleship challenge. So it's just like normal battleship. We're gonna be blindfolded, and we're gonna have to try and guess where the person is, and when you get hit, you're out. So everyone, put your blindfolds on. In three. Two and one, go! Whoa! Did I get him? Oh, Chris did. Jeff, you're out. Hey! Ryan, you got your hands? Again? Oh, why are those holes? Ow! No! Oh! All right, Chris is the winner! Yes! Oh. Boat prevails. All right. I'd like to change my boat's name to the SS Disappointment. The next test is the water gun test to see how resilient our boats are to water gun. I really hope that my turtle shell works pretty well because I don't want to get cold. Hey, Chris, check it out. Dude, this is my rug. are you serious? At least you have a boat. Mine's destroyed. Look at that little pile of rubble over there. What a little pile of rubble. How nubby. At least my boat was better than Jeff's. Okay, the challenge begins in three, two, one, go! Oh, oh, oh dude. I actually didn't get that wet, folks. No, 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 no! Hey! No! Brian, how are you doing in there? Pretty good! Oh, oh that one blocked pretty well! The poor little blocked a little bit of the water, but I'm still getting wet. Go, go, go! Oh! Okay, oh, I got so bad that one time. Alright, I think that's 30 seconds. Wait, one more. Oh. Is it over? Guys, my boat is destroyed! And I'm very wet. My wet rug smells like a horse. I don't know about you guys, but I'm still pretty dry. I think I won that one. So the next challenge is, we're gonna see whose tiny house is the fastest. First person to get across the pool and into the cove wins. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh! 
That's a really fast turtle. Oh, whatever. Here, Dubs. At least I was checking. Dude, Froggy is still on my boat. Froggy, Froggy. Oh. So I am officially disqualified. As you can see, my $500 house is just broken. So now for the final challenge, I'm gonna make a bunch of waves with this raft and we're gonna see if they can survive the waves. Prepare yourself from the monsoon. Oh no, here comes the waves. I don't think I'm gonna last the wave pool. Jeff, you're literally just splashing. This isn't even a wave pool. Brian, are you thinking? Uh, no. I'm not, oh, I'm not sunk until I'm sunken. It's okay. These waves are fine. Ryan, what's going on, bud? Uh, I didn't put enough screws in my floor. Oh, it's falling off. So my floor fell out. Ryan, Jeff! Ryan, Jeff! For the coolness point, I have to give it to you. Yeah. But oh, sweet. Your raft's also sinking because it not broke. Sinking. Okay, fine. Your raft I just, I just also. Leave my headroom. You, your raft. Your raft is breaking. All right. So I think the ultimate winner is Chris. Yes. Less is more with my raft. Simplistic lifestyle for the win. Trust you. No, no, dude. Oh, oh. Well, we hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.